Hello there, and as you guys have probably figured out by the thumbnail, today we're going to be taking a look at Professor X. Before I get in the quest and explain the entire idea behind the video, I wanted to go over the Synergy team. So I am using Captain America, um, Mr. Fantastic and Storm as a main kind of like Synergy partners. Captain America provides all uh, mutant champions with a promise if you have Synergy with Storm. And then we have Mr. Fantastic who actually really helps out with his synergy for mutant champions i save five percent of power uh, whenever i launch a special attack for each special each type of special attack that i have used in the fight so far so if i have used all three types of special attacks i will end up saving 15 percent now that coupled with uh professor x's actual uh special now power saving from special attacks that uh, lets me ramp up significantly quicker. And Nick Fury is there uh, just to kind of like guide me here, uh, clear some fights quickly. And uh, yeah, also attack boost, obviously. And uh, here is going to be the fight itself. I have sped up uh, in the double speed, the initial part of it, because obviously it does involve a really, really long ramp up. I think the fight itself originally was something close to 16 minutes and it's not a quick and easy thing to do uh, here the plan obviously was to gain the prowess uh, from the level three first and that also will kind of like activate the level three portion of mr fantastic synergy and uh, then uh, the whole job is just to build and maintain promises now i will not say that i am proficient at using professor x at all i might not be playing him right i haven't done a lot of testing or anything of the sort uh, i do understand the basics and uh, the basic idea is when you launch special attack if you press uh, hit button or dash forwards you gain a new prowess button new prowess buff and if you dash backwards uh, you refresh all of them and those uh, charges that he gains you can gain either by special attacks or why heavy attacks and uh, that is kind of like the base information that you should know and the base information that i was more or less operating with and obviously whilst the opponent's mind control he can't use special attacks so i can dash safely in and uh, it saves me a whole bunch of power so i can spam special attacks relatively quickly in succession uh, within that five second window opponents are mind controlled and then it's kind of like pretty much rinse and repeat uh, drop your heavy attacks or launch special attacks to build up uh, the charges and uh, then use the special attacks to build up and refresh the promise buffs now uh how as you guys see uh, maxed out his cerebro charges but it's actually quite inconsequential here because those cerebro charges don't really do anything for professor x himself outside of the fact that uh, i gained uh, some extra prowesses uh, from my level three but uh, other than that it's uh, really not needed to ma max out and do these fights previously how i did that was i brought in different champions for the fights I uh, got opponents down to 1 or 2% and finished those fights out with Professor X. So at some point here, you guys see I just slipped up as well. I lost my combo, but it's quite all right because the combo is not relevant to the whole form and the whole kind of like idea that we are doing here. And uh, currently we are at 26 prowess buffs, so we still have ways to go. We are dealing significantly more and more damage. At some point we are able to push Wolverine down in his health bar. But uh, Professor X damage output definitely comes in kind of like bursts and you cannot maintain the damage output per hit uh, for a very long time. It's kind of like coming uh, yeah, in quite big bursts. So with that in mind, uh, if the burst isn't big enough, obviously the Wolverine kind of regens more or less back to full every single time. But that is also very uh, good for me in this fight. Because the whole point was to see how hard a three-star Professor X can hit and uh, whether I can out-damage that Wolverine's heal and uh, how far I can take that. Obviously, leave it up to me to try and push uh, some ridiculous numbers of under champions. But uh, hey, it's one of the things that I enjoy in this game. And uh, yes, it sometimes takes a lot of patience. But once you do get that fight down, uh, it feels extremely uh, rewarding. This is the second time. I was actually going up against Wolverine and first time I got up to about 50 prowess I believe 
and then I lost them <laughs> and that was quite frustrating but I'll do my best uh, this time around and uh, hope well not hopefully it didn't happen I was able to keep them up and uh, as the fight here is progressing as uh, I am building these power charges still I wanted to definitely kind of like weigh in once again where I personally believe Professor X will lie yes infinite damage output uh, potential ramp up or I'm sure there is some sort of cap on those processes I just couldn't reach it quite yet but uh, all of those things being said uh, it is very intriguing but overall I do not personally believe that Professor X will be all that practical of a champion uh, some cool stuff with some big special attacks once you really build him up but uh, other than that I don't really think he has the utility needed to compete in mutant class and as a champion himself synergy is put away as a champion I'd probably actually rate him under Storm Pyramid X because Storm Pyramid X has immunity Storm Pyramid X can uh, fight against champions that shrug of debuffs and also has great damage output and more utilities kind of like built in so overall I do not personally think that Professor X is kind of like the greatest champion released and that's perfectly fine not every champion has to be insane but also I want to make sure that the hype around Professor X is realistic and there is a reason to be hyped because those synergies are insane but the problem with those synergies is again you need to ramp up Professor X for most of the benefits and that's just not going to be quite possible in uh, at least half of the scenarios you would like it to be because uh, yeah if you go on a biohazard path and you want to use uh, mutant champions that are bleeding immune you cannot bring in Professor X to actually ramp up his cerebral charges if he has to contend with biohazard and obviously that's just one example there will be plenty of times when you want these synergies you want to rely on them but unfortunately you are unable to properly capitalize on them so overall i think he's a fairly well balanced champion uh i don't think he's going to be like new meta attacker or anything of the sorts or even close to that he will have his use he will have his value he's going to be able to provide some very fun and interesting interactions why his synergies or why his own infinite damage ramp ups or whatever uh, but it's important to keep your expectations relatively realistic as well in my opinion and now here I accidentally pushed myself to level 3, I did not mean to do so, but also past this point I will be slowing the fight down because we are slowly but surely nearing the end. As we can see we are dealing more and more damage, we are able to push him uh, lower and lower. Now I did make a mistake there, I accidentally did shoot a special attack after my mind control had expired in the block. But uh, now we are closing in to the final kind of like hits. So once again here you can see that I was charging my heavy attack in order to gain the charges. Uh, I actually forgot the name of the charges. Uh, but either way, uh, we are building our prowess off. We need to make sure that we refresh it. At this point we are at 59. You can see that significant damage is being dealt already. Unfortunately it wasn't quite enough to take him down so I'm going to have to uh, reload <laughs> pretty much uh, so I'm gonna have to rebuild all of these analysis charges once again uh, at some point refresh these promises and uh, when I do kind of like go in my next burst phase I believe that will be more or less the end of it uh, or close to that so uh, there we saw another level one to refresh the promise charges uh, that is uh, in kind of like most easy, uh, at least for me, it seemed like the easiest way to refresh them and consume least amount of power. And uh, now we're gonna drop a few heavy attacks, trying to get 100 charges, we're at 92, we need a few more. We'll bring back up to 58% at this point. And uh, now <laughs> let's go. So we have first level two, nothing in it crit. And second one, we can see a few nice crits though. So it did look a lot pretty. So we're gonna loop this moment a bit because it just looks beautiful. So Wolverine goes from 58% to let's check it out in a slow motion then he goes to 40 percent so that's already kind of like a fairly beautiful chunk of damage 
another special attack unfortunately first part doesn't crit but then he goes from 37 percent to nine so uh 37 to nine that's uh close to 30 percent damage to a third so i believe it was around 100k uh, not quite impressive as impressive as colossus numbers were but a uh, few more level ones later the the wolverine does go down and that will also do for today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you did hit that like button hit that sub button hit all the other buttons let me know what you personally think about professor x but uh, that will do and i'm gonna catch you guys soon see ya